So we have here a parcel. This is going to be a quick video. This will just be a nice quick one. Um, I won this on eBay. It was actually a victory. I'm very excited about it. Very, very excited about it. Ooh, look at that. I pipped somebody at the post. They, uh, it was at eleven dollars fifty. I think it was like four dollars pushing a pack in the way, rather know, but um, it was eleven dollars fifty, or no, it was three dollars fifty. So it was eleven dollars fifty, and uh, and somebody must have slapped in there for like five. I was going to say five plus four, but actually sixteen dollars and, and uh, five cents, and I slapped in there for sixteen dollars and thirty cents. So I managed to beat them by twenty-five cents. Anyhow, look at this. We have a uh, near mint. This is my first ever non-chrome, because I've I bought two chromes of PSA. I uh, bought two uh, nines, nine uh, mints or whatever, chromes. Um, what were they? Prism. And I bought them for $18, so that was $9 each, which was a bloody fantastic purchase, I think. But this is great as well. Look at this. This is obviously... Um, OS 2 985 I've actually got my first ever OS rated card and there was two reasons I bought it one is because Jolt with Joel is awesome and I needed to have Jolt with Joel the uh, other thing other reason oh look hello and I bought this one off the internet the other reason is uh, I wanted to see what the quality of a near mint 8 is so for me it's important to know what is the quality of a near mint? Like, you know, I want to know what the, the centering's like, I want to know what the corners are like, and I want to inspect the surface. I just want to get an understanding of what an 8 looks like, so that when I look at my cards I can say, this is better than this card. You know, like this one here, is this better? I pulled this one out of a pack myself, went straight into safety. It's pretty off-centre on the back and everything, so... This one looks pretty off center at the top. Yeah, that's pretty off center there as well, but this is like really off center. <laughs> Let's have a look at the corners. Can we see the corners? Let's get that even closer. Will that let me do closer? Okay, let's pull it away a bit. So there you go. So that's what the corner looks like, top left. This is what the surface is like. Have a look at that corner as well. See that corner looks pretty damn good as well. Now I've got some glasses for doing repairing glasses, <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna stare at this using those glasses, and I'll, I'll probably pull them out tomorrow and uh, do a little video showing them. Maybe I'll see if it actually if I can get the camera to, to go through the glasses so you can see just how awesome it is and I'll have a look at the corners of this as well so that looks bloody like I don't know why this is an 8 I'll, I'll, I'll inspect it closer because I can't really do it properly here, but look at the colors in that that is just amazing and I think I completed Jolted Joel in Chrome 2 as well so that's cool but yeah, I will definitely be checking it out compared to this one. If, if I find that this one also could be a an 8 based on checking both of these out, then, I don't know, send it off and see if I can get a 9. Because these these go for a bit, I think. I mean, I got it, for, I got it in a bidding war. Um, so, uh, and I think it was a lucky bidding war. But that is fantastic. Actually, I'm uh, my own. This this is really exciting. <laughs> this is from 1985. I mean, obviously these ones are from from 1985. I pulled them out. The ones in the background here are from 1985. Pulled them out of packs myself. Um, they're from the UK. Pulled them out. Really disappointing with the the gum, but it doesn't matter. They're they're from the UK. They're amazing. Um, but this is like my first PSA 1985 OS2. Absolutely fantastic. 
so thank you to the, the person who sent this they did a very good job of the packing and everything I'd uh, love it and this is going to get put away nice and safe um, yeah that'll do how, how long have I been recording? 5 minutes ok I think that's all I've got to say for it really I'm just uh, that's just fantastic brilliant my first one there we go let's put him here there we go now I actually have some decent ones I, I, the other two that I got aren't sort of special just just Hot Scott and uh, Messy Tessie uh, prisms so I can't really put them up here I don't know if they're you know it's not like a, a mon monumental piece but this one is one of the main characters this is one of the chase cards so definitely awesome but uh, what else have I got actually just quickly looking through these that are possible, possible chase there's, there's one that I really liked I mean the, these came through quite nice I think there's a bit of staining on that but that's a mini this one came through fantastic but I think the centering's rubbish um, these ones I opened in uh, 4 packs OS 4 packs and then this one I bought off the internet and I think this one's looking pretty pretty sharp I just think that Juicy Loose is fantastic that would look really good as a chrome that would be awesome as a chrome actually well you look at the back and then suddenly you go off centre that's why these people sell it they're like yeah, it's not going to make a, a I don't know if it's if it's off centre like that what is that what does that mean should I send it in just to find out what an off centre gets if it's really pristine but I mean obviously I bought the second hand so I don't know I'll have to investigate it but now I've got a piece that I can look at study that and then look at my other cards and say you know find out what the failings are in this I need to find out what the failings are and then I need to make sure that my cards don't have those failings and at least they're off centre and that's the only failing then when I send it in I can find out what what rating that gets so for me I'm and I've never sent anything off yet so I'm really excited to do it for the first time at some point um, yeah unfortunately that that was the bloody gum card wasn't it um, this one came out pretty good and this one came out extremely good as well <coughs> I do believe that this one came out extremely good and it's one of these cards so you don't have to worry about the centering I don't know if they check the centering on, on the back of these sorts of cards and the centering is pretty good there and it was pulled fresh out so could this be a 10 that would be fantastic this one was a bloody gum card and I can't see any gum on the back of it I put it in the freezer, I, I had the, the technique so I tried it out did that work? because it looks like it might have this one came out pretty good yeah he was really good but unfortunately he's got the stuff on the, the front ok well there we go, let's leave it at that I'll cut this down a bit probably because 8 minutes is too long really for opening up some post but uh, very excited fantastic I'll be showing my daughter that she'll be going ah, garbage bell kids <laughs> anyhow right thanks for watching I'll let it this down I'll, I'll cut that bit out so you won't even see me that I cut that bit out anyhow thanks for watching um, we'll see what else I get in the future um, I know I've ordered some some more cards tonight so we'll be having a look at those um, over the next few days when they arrive and I think I've got some other things arriving soon as well over the next few days so um, and then uh, maybe I'll open some packs, but anyhow, we'll leave it. That. We'll leave that. That is it. Check it out. Don't forget to subscribe. Click on the thing. Do the stuff. You know, just follow me. You know, just get my stats up. Get the stats up. Okay. But look at this. Look at the colours of this card. Look at it. Beautiful. Beautiful. Anyhow, goodbye. <laughs>